Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review slash first impressions on Jamberry nail vinyls. Now I know these have been out for a while, but I personally have never tried them. So I thought I'd... These were sent to me for review by Chelsea. Um, she was nice enough to send me this pack, so I'll go ahead and open it up. I'll also have her information down below for you guys if you're interested in ordering these for yourself. I'll have everything down there that you need. So the first thing on the back of this is the instructions. Now I don't know if this is a PR kit or if this is what you would actually get if you ordered. I think I've seen these bigger, so I'm assuming you get more of the stickers if you actually order it yourself. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with the Jamberry aside from what they are. So here's the instructions. I'll go ahead and walk you guys through this with the tutorial part of this, but I'll show you what's in the package first. So first thing is she gave me the actual nail vinyls, and that's what they look like. You can see the Jamberry logo there, and it's this really pretty print kind of floral and these you cut in half and you get seven different sizes and this one and then she included a file her card which I'll have this information down below for you guys if you want to order um, I'm just covering up her f actual phone number on there because I'm not sure if she wants me to give that out or not um, she also included some alcohol swabs so this is 70% alsopropyl alcohol and then a cuticle pusher and a rubber pusher there. That's what that looks like. The other thing I grabbed just to make this easier for me is a pair of tweezers. And then I have my hair dryer here. This is my crafting hair dryer. That's why you see crayon on there. Um, it's the only hair dryer I have. So that's what I'll be using to heat it up. I don't have the actual heater unit that they have. You can purchase that on the Jamberry website if you prefer. But if you have a hair dryer, that's supposed to work just as well. So on the instructions here, the first thing they tell you to do is push back your cuticles and clean your nail plate with alcohol. You would take your cuticle pusher of choice, whether it's one of these wood ones or a metal one if that's what you have, and you would just remove any dead skin from the nail plate. And you can see a little bit there flaking up. And you would just go through and remove any cuticle dead skin off the nail plate. Now you're not digging into the actual skin here, you're just taking off what's on the nail plate. And my nails were actually pretty clean because I just had a set on. And then what they recommend is you go in with your alcohol wipes. Or you can, you can use a wipe like this or you can just use alcohol out of the bottle. And then you would just clean off your nail. And that's just going to make sure that there's no oils or anything. And it's just going to ensure that everything sticks the way it's supposed to. And then the next step is to actually take your jam berries and to size them up. So what it says on the instructions is that you want to actually size a little bit down. You'd rather have it a little bit small on your nail. So like if you look at that, that one will overlap. If I put that there and I'm kind of squishing it down to see how where it's going to fall. So that one's going to overlap. So I'm going to need to go down a size. And you can also trim these if you need to. Like if the shape doesn't match yours, you can always trim them. And then once you have your size, you're just going to go in and you're going to cut that down the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I did ask Chelsea if you can use these over gel or acrylic nails and she said that you can. Um, currently I just took off a set so I don't need to do that. So I think I'm good with this second size here. I'm going to go ahead and do my thumb for you guys so you can see that. I am going to have to turn on my hair dryer so that's going to get really loud. So. Be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this off of the backing here. I'm going to hold it with my tweezers. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my hair dryer and I'm going to heat this up. It should start to get a little bit wrinkly. Once it does that, then you know that you're ready to apply it. You just place that on your nails and then you're going to make sure that you work it side to side um, and stick it down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to cut out the sound so you guys don't have to hear the hair dryer going. So once I have that on there from side to side, it says to go ahead and take this little rubber piece 
and you're going to kind of work that in so that there's no bubbles or gaps. And I'm just using that to push around the edges. And then I'm going to turn on my hair dryer one more time. I'm going to pull the ends so that they're nice and tight. And then I'm going to take my file and I'm going to file off the tip of that without actually hitting the jamberry that's on the top of my nail. So I just want to make sure again with my fingers and with this that there's no lumps or bumps here on the side. And then again, I'm going to hit that with some heat, and I'm just going to use this tool to make sure I push it down around the edges. And that's it. Your jamboree is attached to your nail. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the nails, and I'll come back and show you the final product. Okay guys, so here's the final look. I was able to do all of my nails no problem. The other hand was easy to do as well. Um, I did have a couple extra left over, which are these ones here. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is you can cut the jamberry before putting them on your nail to get a perfect fit if they're not exactly the shape you need. Um, also, I could have gone up a little bit on some of them. So like this one, you can see a little bit of my nail there on the side. So I could have probably gone up a size on that one. And I think if you get the actual full size, there's more sizes to pick from. Um, so you can get a better fit and or cut down a, one that's a little bit larger and just make it fit. But looking at it, you can't even tell. I mean, you'd really have to be looking at my nails to notice that I missed a little tiny sliver there on the side. Oh, I did want to mention that I have used other vinyls before, but they're the ones that have the adhesive on the back. And then you put them on the nail and you can either clear coat them with gel polish or you just leave them alone. You know, those ones I had a really hard time. I would usually get bumps because my nails are quite curvy, especially my thumbs. They have um, kind of a strange shape to them. They don't go in a C curve. They kind of go in like a little triangle or they come to a little peak like right here. You can probably see it better on that one. See how my nail grows a little bit weird? I would usually get some kind of bumps or wrinkles along the side with these ones because once they heat up, they're a little bit more malleable. You can, you can pull them and they have a little bit of stretch to them so you're able to kind of maneuver them so that they cover the nail completely. Um, I didn't get any lumps or bumps with these, which is really good for the first time applying them. I think I have maybe one tiny little wrinkle right here but you honestly can't even see it and it's down a little bit into it so I don't think it's going to affect the way that it wears it's not right at the tip so overall I'm pretty impressed with these um, they went on easy like I said the whole manicure took me maybe 15 minutes and that's with recording so I'm sure as I got better at sizing them and everything I probably cut it down to like 10 you know a minute per finger I mean honestly it wasn't even that long once I had them sized out so overall I'm really happy with them. I can't speak to the longevity of them because obviously I've just barely put them on for the first time. So it does say that you're supposed to be able to get anywhere from 7 to 10 days out of these. Some people claim you can get even more than that. Um, so I'm going to leave these on and kind of see where it goes. Directly. 
So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Again, links will be in the description box. And I wanted to say thank you to Chelsea for sending these for review. And as always, thank you guys for watching.